Hi friends, today I will compare on the A7 III uh, four lenses. The one I have on the A7 III now is the Sony 28mm f2 and uh, I will move like this you can follow you can see the autofocus, the exposition, everything. You can check if it's good or not. Okay. I move a little bit far. I go out. I come back here. Okay. Then, now, now, uh, I did this uh, comparison because I receive a lens, it's uh, 30 mm uh, from uh, Sigma 1.4. Uh, this one is a uh, APS-C, but the A7 III uh, change on Super 35 automatically when I change the lens. Then we will try this one. I think I have trouble with this one. We will see now. Okay, friends, I removed the Sony 28 f2 and I put the Sigma 30 f1.4 APS-C and uh, I had issue with this one. Sometimes my background uh, move go and forth uh, sometimes uh, it's uh, lose my face i am on face tracking and sometimes it doesn't work we will see the difference with the sony i hope i hope we will have no difference and i can keep this lens if I don't think it's all the Sigma lens who had this default because I have the 16 and when, when the, I use the 16 I have no trouble at all. Sometimes, if you remember the old uh, Lumix, uh, the background come back and forth always uh, and uh, it's this lens did exactly the same. I don't know if it's a problem from the lens and my camera I'm sure it's not because I used all my uh, Sony lenses and I have no problem. And to prove it, if we have trouble, uh, I will use now the Tamron 28 to 200 and uh, it's a new lens and uh, I know that it works perfectly and we will see if if I see a difference or not if Tamron is better than Sigma okay I will stop now and put the 28 200 from Tamron. Okay, now I put the 28 uh, 200 at 28 and we will see if the focus is better in identical or less. Okay. You see, I think I go out. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. And uh, it's not finished. Now I will show you the Sigma 1835 1.8. You see? And I will show you the Sigma MC11 adapters. 
and I will install it now on my A7 III.